Hello everyone, this is Carolyn as the Fickle Fool, and today's video is from Main Street Antiques in Newark, Delaware. So first in, we come on in and see some clear glass, nothing too exciting. I learned a lot filming this because I went way too fast, but here you go. Here's some Wade Whimsies. That's a great, great display. Those are really cute. They come in the tea bags, like a... Oh, I forget the tea. All right, and that is a Fenton milk glass, like red glass. Beautiful. It's hobnail when you see those little bumps. That was a really cool whale. It was like pearly. It was really pretty. And we're seeing some antiques, some thimbles. What else we got? Jewelry. I was wondering if that vase glued. I bet you it did. Some old photos. That one's like on a tin or aluminum, I think. Really cool. Aw, little bottle brush tray. Some old stuffies. That looks like something in the back. I forget what it's called. Oh, hairpins right there. Or hat pins. And you can tell by the age of how long they are. That was Carl, some more jewelry. That vase was wow, fabulous. Nice. It was from the World Fair. So is that. So is the plate. So is that little donkey. Up, oh, coming back to it. But I see the wooden penguin that I thought was adorable. <laughs> really cute. He's from Woolsworth. And the Woolworths tag is still on it. What else we got? Oh, my camera work is horrible. She's cute. All right, I bought those. I, I couldn't even contain myself. They're so cute. They're little ladybug guys with hat top hats. That is Balik. That is amazing. And that is Amethyst Lag Glass. There's quite a few pieces in that collection. They were absolutely beautiful. Or the pedestal thing is well purple is my favorite color so maybe i'm a little partial like a that look like a yadro to me oh, there's a pedestal. Uh, then i saw the pedestal Love that. that i thought was gorgeous either were giraffes or deer and of course the kitties and the dog but i like the tree in the back these are some old vintage toys Lots and lots of stuff at this place. I couldn't even see it all. I like that pin. I thought it was cool because got a little road runner. Lots of vendors and the ladies there were really nice when I asked them if I could film. They were so excited. So next time I go, I will be more mindful of how I do this. But I'm learning. All right, I saw this clock. My husband loves clocks. As you all know, if you see my other videos, ding dong, you know, I can't even stand it. But that one is absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's my finger. It was, I don't know, 220, something like that. That is beautiful. He had the key up front. This was a vintage hat that I just thought was absolutely fabulous. I loved the color. It was like a velvet. It had like the old tag in it. I think we're gonna get all right, I did ask away. for the price. That was like... $125 for the Millaflori uh, necklace. I was hoping it was like 15 bucks so I could resell it, but <laughs> it was such luck. They knew what they had. I love the stones. And they just had some really pretty jewelry in that case. Uh, they had that little lamp. I don't know what they're called, but it's like a little lady and it's glass. And another vendor had a pink and a blue one. All right, that's Silvercrest. That is Lefton. No, Fenton, sorry. I just thought that was so cute. <laughs> More Wade Whimsies. I see a purple one. Never seen that color. Some salt and pepper shakers. Nothing too exciting, except I did see these little cats. They were cute, and they were only $5 a pair. They were from Japan. Made they were really cute, but eh, I don't know. 
it didn't say like I'm really different. I, I stand like out. It wasn't as weird as I maybe would want it to be. Swizzle stick. In the back you got some swizzle sticks, which I just picked some of them up from another place. And then we got some littles over here. And then this is some jewelry. Some old Barbara, Barber uh, shaving cream brushes. There's another one and a pipe. It's like the Mantiques right here. I love that. Um, Al on the on to the right. That was really pretty. I love that vase too. I don't remember how much that was, and I can't see when I'm doing the voiceover. I really did like that. So a Fenton shoe. Some more Littles up there. And more Littles and little thimbles. And that caught my eye, that little white thing. I didn't know what that was. I was trying to figure out what it was. All right, this booth had lots of Littles. And I did pick up, I didn't even show it on camera because I think I snagged it. <laughs> I just thought that was funny, a monkey in a cage. Um, some spaghetti dogs. My, because this is going by so fast. Sorry. Oh, that's a little baby. All right. I think I found all the lids to uh, decanters. Smurfs. Looks like salt and pepper shakers. Pillsbury dope. Wait, I missed that timer. I would have snagged that. That was cool. I like that box. Another spaghetti poodle. Cute little pixie holding a basket. And then nooks and crannies. bloom glass art. Oh my God, I love it's like every nooks and crannies. Here's all the jewelry. Some vintage pins. I didn't see anything that knocked my socks off. But then I go down and down and look what's down here. Merry Mushroom. I never saw the clock, but it was missing an arm. All right. And then we got some, here's more littles. And there's lots of these troll things. And there's some weird babies and Fenton shoes. More shoes. And oh, I missed the cat. Oh my God, I'm going way too fast. I wish I could figure out how to slow this down for you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will do this again. Ew, you see that guy? He's gross. There were so many gnomes and those things. And I know they're highly collectible and they are expensive. And they were all over the store. Ah, uh, that red piece is pretty. I love that frame. There he is. There's another one. Another troll. Oh, I like the head mug. Ew, another troll. Oh, I'm sorry. I think they are ugly. And I like weird stuff, but that is creepy. Creepy bad. Lots of blown glass. Art glass. I thought they were jade, but they were like some kind of stone. Those elephants. Just some littles, paperweights, another gnome. Look at that. Okay, this is me. Love it. Gaudy. And wait for it. There's another one. And puzzles, which I love. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. All right, I thought that was cute. Salt and pepper shaker. That was carved stone, and there was like a duck or something inside of it. I thought that was really neat. That is a Jack in the Pulpit vase, pearlized or iridescent. That was really pretty. There was actually another one of those turtles in the store somewhere else too. It's weird how there was so much stuff, but yet I saw duplicates of quite a few things. Some old marbles in a jar. This was more like men's stuff over in this section. 
But I did find some really cu uh, cute littles in this uh, one before when I went there the first time. And I didn't see any of them. So they must have got rid of that. So it was mostly like pottery and lots of Pyrex. Did you see it? There it is. <clears throat> A little red Fridgy. I don't know. I would never buy Pyrex at an antique store. They always want too much. That's the kind of stuff that you try to find at the Goodwill. The blue and white pattern, that's a Corel. I have that pink one, actually, but I don't think that's the right pattern. But I do have pink. I think it had, Oh, this was blurry, but you know what? Look at it. Campbell's Soup Can Opener. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> I thought it was great. More Pyrex. Oh, it's so blurry. There's like a weird, weird bunnies on it. All right, that was like a really cool record. Now that says shiny bright, but it says vintage Halloween decorations. So I'm assuming it's not vintage if it says vintage, right? This was a great idea. Some Valentines put in a frame. Those lamps, those were cool. That green was gorgeous. Really like them. And then another hobnail lamp. That's really beautiful. That's more silver crest. There's a pumpkin blue mold and a bottle of Windex. <laughs> Uh, some salt and pepper shakers. And I took some photos. That was a cool basket. The mouse was cute. Fairy lamp. Another hobnail up there. I see it red. Some figurines. And glass. Some cute figurines. Those are the old glasses. Raggedy and telephone toothbrush. That was a toothbrush holder. I thought those were pretty in good condition. Those were creepy to me. Love those with the little pointy ears. That was cute. And what do you see down there? See the duck? That's a McCoy. That's been there. It's cute, but I think they went like 20 some bucks for it. Mm. Not my vibe. And it's me, the fickle fool. This was so cool. Santa's Candy Express. I think they won it like $55 for it, which is actually a pretty good price. Got some more Pyrex and the Fridgies. Oh, I see a Lennox vase down there. Another display case. Some egg cups on the top of that one. The cute little family of kitties. That's a cool glass. I didn't even see that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that color. It's so gorgeous. Okay, here's my treasure haul from Main Street Antiques in Newark, Delaware. I had a really fun time there. I absolutely loved it. It's the second time I was ever there, first time filming, and I know it wasn't good. I know. I'm working on it, and I definitely know I need to slow down and show you guys. I was trying to show everything, I think, so instead of doing that, I think I should just focus on certain things instead of the whole story, because I think I was overwhelmed. So anyway, I do want to show you what I did pick up because some of the stuff, I think all the stuff except for the one thing, I didn't even show you because I snagged it so fast. So what I bought myself, because I, I just absolutely love these. So they are little ladybug guys. Look at the face. Look at that mischievous little face. And they have little top hats. And they have little ladybug shells. Look at that face. Oh my god, 
They're so cute. I got them for $22. I, I couldn't pass them up. I thought they were just so cute. And it's Valentine's Day, so, and they're cute for that. And they'll be cute for St. Patrick's Day. And they'll be cute for Christmas because I just like them and they're not going away. <laughs> so, all right, what else should I show you? All right, so then in the, um, in this booth, I got like three of these things. So I'll show you the first one. So the first one is a glass animal. I thought he looked like Pluto, the Disney Pluto. He's blown glass. I just thought his huge open mouth was hilarious because when my dog yawns, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so, anyway, he's tiny and I think he's super cute. He's got little eyes. He's adorable. So that'll be up for sale. And then this is a Hager Renegar. Yeah, Hager Renegar. They're like little minis. Do you remember when you were at the, like down the shore and they would sell stuff and they'd have the little little um, paper squares underneath? I think that's these. And now you don't find them anymore at the gift shops and stuff. Or maybe you do, but look how tiny he is. Let me show you with a quarter. Look, he fits on a quarter. I mean, he's so tiny and he's a little dragon. Look how adorable. I gotta get more centered, sorry. Look at that little face. So I got him. I think he was like a dollar. I mean, how do you pass that up? All right, and then in the same, oh, but I didn't get him in the same thing, but I did get this. So this is also another glass animal, which in my house, we call them glanimals because how cute are glass animals? So they're glanimal and he is a rooster and I am not a huge rooster fan but I know there's a lot of rooster fans out there but I I love orange just because you just don't see it that much but I love the detail now it is made in China I picked it up anyway because I just thought it was beautiful and I thought somebody else would enjoy him who collects Roosters and chickens. A lot of two people have them in their kitchens. It's just like a thing. But I think he's made beautifully. And he's like nice, thick glass, so you don't have to worry about him like breaking. Like I think he's really solid. But I don't know what they call that. But beautiful. I just thought he was really fun. So we got him. And then I got a Scotty dog, which I know a lot of people out there love their little Scotties. I don't know what this paint is called. It looks like it's just like kind of brushed on there. It's definitely supposed to be there. It looks like he may have had some sort of collar on and I did find a baby. So he was like in a separate part, but in the same like booth. So I'm thinking that he probably had the collar with the little chain and he probably had, or she probably had a couple little babies with her. And this one's just like laying down, little puppy. So super cute, uh, made in China. And so were my little um, ladybug friends. So they're made in Japan, if you can read. There you go, made in Japan. So I didn't notice there was a little boo-boo on his paw right there and another little one right there. But I mean, you can't really tell because of his coloring. So I just picked him up because I thought, thought it was different. I've never seen painting like that. And being that I had a matching baby, I mean, how do you not? So got them. And then the last thing I got, was this little cute little apple with a little tiny mouse sticking out of it. I I just could not with this little face. Wait till you say. Look at him. Oh my God. Look at his little foot sticking out. It's so cute. And I loved like 
the, the, the texture of the apple, I just thought that was so different. I've never seen anything like that. Now he does have a small little chip on his ear and on, yep, on his little foot right there. There's like a little chippy. Again, you can't really see it. And it was given to somebody from mom, Easter 1977, April 10th. So that's super sweet. I love when there's history behind a piece. Like they bought this and gave it to somebody for Easter. It's not even Eastery, but I guess the little mouse was just too cute. Maybe that person liked mice. I know I like little rodents, hamsters and stuff. They're so cute, I love them. But anyway, this I thought was adorable, but I am gonna sell it. Um, I'm gonna sell everything I showed except for my little friends because I just, I can't part with these. So you have to kind of pick and choose what you're gonna keep and what you should sell. And I am struggling with that because I've bought a whole lot of stuff and I have not sold anything yet. So it is starting. And I also want to announce that I got 50 followers. So I am super excited about that. Thank you all. And we will be starting some lives. So maybe even live shows where I sell stuff. So that might be fun too. Um, that I might have to wait until I get quite a few more, few more people. But until then, I will be selling on my Instagram, which is The Fickle Fool. So I hope you can all check that out. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I just wanted to highlight this cool decanter with all the little cups hanging off of it. How cute.